Yo everybody, this is Rock with the Great, aka the Toy Bookie, and in today's video we are going to be doing a review. So this is a kit bash of uh, a 112 scale motorbike, like a motorcycle. You usually find these at uh, like hobby stores or whatever. I found one at the flea market. It was only a buck, so I pick them up. I have a, a like a whole box full, and I, I try to do different customs with them over the time. I haven't done one in a while, and this is my most recent one. And I'm really happy how it turned out. It might not be done, but again, I say in all my videos, when you're a customizer, uh, you can keep customizing until for forever. So I'm just going to be going over the current state of it. We'll get this thing is much better in details, like close-up details. So we're going to be checking that out. It's made out of a uh, model bike. What is that? An applesauce uh, cap and also a milk carton. So I, I used a milk carton my first time using a milk carton on parts. Instead of buying styrene, I just cut up a milk carton and I use that as plastic because you forget uh, that the, the milk carton is pretty thick plastic so you could use that for your models. Uh, I'm not sure if other people do that. I'm sure someone's done that, but let's get some close up. I tried a whole bunch of, oh, I like that. So I tried a whole bunch of new details and paint techniques. I did the uh, sponge paint that a lot of people use on Gunpla or Gundams. I did a little bit of the graffiti. Got some tags on here. Look at that. Got some just little details. Oop. Again, this is just like parts. I had a stand on the bottom and it came off when I was painting it. So right now I just have it on this thing. It should stand. There it is. Okay. Uh, this is the applesauce container right here. This back part. Look at that. Just painted it, and then it's funny, here Here are some of the milk parts. So I closed up all the holes on the bottom. That's all milk carton, believe it or not, right under here, this whole thing. It painted pretty well, and then up here, that's actually milk carton too. You couldn't even tell. That little square was covering a hole from the seat that I took off. And then uh, we got some details up here. Oh, come on, focus, focus. So this, I actually put the handlebars on a ball joint, so you could actually move it all around. It's on a, a Gundam ball joint because, you know, you took the spoke off with the wheel. Oh, here's some cool, look at those wires. Those wires, I'm really happy with how they came out. Look at the wires. Some tags, we got some graffiti on the bike. Got a ludicrous move, get out the way. Got Stay Great, that's my clothing company. Just a, a lot of fun. I just um, I just went like whatever. I'm going whatever on here. And I just tried a bunch of different techniques. And I just went a little crazy. I, I wasn't trying to go for anything. I'm really, I'm happy how the paint uh, came out. I wanted to do some white spray paint details on it, like have white stripes or something. I still might do it in the future, but again, you can't spend too much time on a project or else I feel like it'll never get done. Here is it with a custom Marvel Legends to show scale, and here it is with a 3A figure. Very cool, and again, my light is very bright, so um, I'm not sure if it's getting the right, like see, you could get a little bit more of the detail right there. See, I, don't, I, I can't tell which lighting it looks better in, but very cool. Here, let me just, last thing before we're done, I'll put my cyberpunk set up. And we'll just see how it looks with my cyberpunk diorama background. Okay, so we got that. Here, let's just see, how's it look in front of the cyberpunk building? Looks pretty cool. Here, let's put it up more. Nice. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Rock of the Great, aka the Toy Bookie. If you're interested in more of my projects like this, I do updates on my Instagram uh, daily with whatever I'm working on at the time. So. If you're interested in updates before I can make a YouTube video, definitely go there. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
Oh, and if uh, you're looking for inspiration on making your own hover bike, Pinterest, just type hover bike in Pinterest. And Pinterest is like my inspiration for everything. I love it. They got so many great, uh, there you go. They got so many great uh, ideas on there. So definitely, because I just realized people are going to be like, oh, you know, how, inspiration, where can you get it and everything. Yeah, Pinterest. Check out Pinterest. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.